have been deeply in love with the ocean for as long as I can remember. Although I'm a fourth generation Coloradan, born and raised, living in a landlocked state hasn't curved my passion for the sea. I've been snorkeling and freediving since I was a kiddo, and I decided it was time to get my scuba certification license. The process of obtaining the certification included a week of classes diving in a pool in the big part, diving in open water for two days. The classroom and pool time were both helpful in my process and growing as a diver. The night before the diving weekend, I barely got a wink of sleep out of excitement and nervousness. When I did get sleep, I dreamt of my prediction of what the water would be like and if I would pass. The weekend had come, the big dive at Aurora Reservoir in late August. The water was murky and cool, but that wasn't stopping me from getting my license. As I descended into the deep, murky water, I knew the water would be different than any other that I had been deep into, and boy was I right. As I got deeper and deeper, the visibility worsened and I could barely see one foot in front of me. The water temperature also decreased on the way down. Once we got to the testing area, I knew that I would be fine, and although we weren't in the ocean, I was at ease as if the sea surrounded me. my diving certification with flying colors. <laughs> to this day, I continue to love the ocean and I have more appreciation for its beauty and serenity and feel even more connected to it now that I know that I can dive prepared. I will forever be fascinated by the ocean and its mysteries. I hope to discover more of its treasures as a diver.